Good morning, and welcome to our continued discussion on the CMMC Maturity Level 1 practices. Uh, my name is Tom Conkle. I'm a cybersecurity engineer with Optic Cyber Solutions. Optic Cyber Solutions is a registered practitioner organization or an RPO within the CMMC ecosystem. As such, Optic helps uh, organizations improve and uh, mature their cybersecurity program in preparation for CMMC assessments. Uh, so today I have Mike Green, a cybersecurity engineer from Optic, joining me. So welcome back, Mike. Thanks, Tom. And we're going to be talking about the flaw remediation practice today. So this practice specifically is about it's about identifying or like reporting, correcting information and information system flaws in a timely manner. So what does this practice mean, Mike? <laughs> so flaw remediation, um, it's uh, multiple components to it. So it's um, really involves like vulnerability management and patch management. <clears throat> patch management. So essentially it's looking for any flaws that, so any code, any software has some kind of flaw built in. Some are more, you know, exploitable vulnerabilities. Some are just, you know, um, bugs, if you will. But it's really having a process to identify those vulnerabilities or those uh, flaws and then having a process to pull them into the environment and apply them um, as appropriate. Some cases you want to test well. In a lot of cases, you want to make sure you test them and not just deploy them as they are to make sure they won't impact the uh, security posture of the system. Great. Excellent. So, yeah, actually, so that's a good point of making sure that you, you test the test the patch, make sure that's not going to affect the, well, the security of the operation of the system uh, as we maintain it before we roll that out into a produ production environment. But what are some of the other considerations that you have we, that you uh, consider you know, when working with organizations to implement this practice? Yeah, well, really, really what's key is to have a, a structured process. So, you know, some of the flaws may be as a result of scanning, vulnerability scans. So if you have a defined process, whether it's weekly, monthly, to kind of scan the environment, identify those vulnerabilities, and then have a process to kind of move them into a patch sequence. Um, like I said, you want to make sure you test the, the uh, patches before they're actually applied to the environment. In other cases, you may have like firmware updates that'll come from the vendor specifically, so they will be, won't be identified necessarily from a vulnerability scan. It may just be a push, you know, like a, a Windows update or sometimes, you know, Cisco has updates for the firewalls. We kind of pull those in as well and consider those as you have, you know, before you apply them to your uh, environment. Excellent. No, very good point, especially yeah, having that process in place, specifying what is the time frame that you want to uh, both scan and look for updates, as well as when an update is provided by the vendor, how much time do you have to implement that on your systems? I know we see a lot of organizations base that off of the criticality specifically for vulnerabilities so that we have a defined time frame so that uh, organizations know when they have to push it and we don't have to stop everything immediately. And again, as the assessor comes, if we have that defined process, they something, have something to evaluate us for so that if they see a patch that came out that morning, it's not applied, right? That might not be a problem, right? If we can look at it and say, oh, no, based on our process, we have four days to make sure that it's rolled out based on the criticality of the vulnerability. Yeah, that's a really good point. Um, and in some cases, like CISA has a, a, a severity or a certain uh, vulnerabilities that need to be patched in a defined time frame for uh, federal systems. Uh, it may not necessarily apply to non-federal systems, but you're right, as long as you have that defined process of, you know, what the criticality is, when they need to be applied, you know, if it's low, minor, or high, uh, vulnerability, what the time frame is, just because, like you said, you don't want to get caught off guard, you have a defined process for how to ingest, how to evaluate, and then, you know, correct the flaws in the system. Excellent. Well, thank you for joining us again, Mike. I appreciate yeah. that. And as always, if you have any questions uh, or need assistance implementing any of the CMMC practices or improving your cybersecurity program, feel free to reach out to Optic Cyber Solutions at info at OpticCyber.com. Thanks for joining me today as we walk through the CMMC Maturity Level 1 practices. As always, please feel free to reach out if you have any questions or you'd like assistance in implementing the CMMC practices. We'd love to help you in your CMMC journey. So feel free to reach at info at OpticCyber.com and thanks for watching.